Alright, hey guys. So today we're gonna go over how to add a WebSocket to your Nest.js application, your REST API, if you will. And I have the basic um, boor, uh, boilerplate here. So I just have WebSocket Gateway, which is a decorator that Nest.js gives you from the Nest.js WebSocket package. Um, you may have to add this. Doing a, I'm gonna zoom in really quick. Yeah. Uh, so all you have to do is just do yarn add at nest.js web sockets. But I have it installed, so I don't have to do that. Um, let's see. So you need the web socket gateway to create the class for nest.js to understand the gateway. And then you also need the web socket server decorator which makes this variable uh, accessible in the the gateway and it's just a websocket server you also have to add a port number and it runs independently from the main application so uh, whatever port you're running on so this is 4000 and my gateway is running on 4001 uh, it just has to be different it doesn't have to be incredibly different so yeah so the first thing is um, your websocket is running so all you really have to do is make sure that your module that you want um, events listened to and emitted from as to be provided in the module so in my idea module is where I want it. so I'm gonna add it here so just do app gateway and then let's see I kind of want this on the top and I believe I added it in here erroneously uh, it turns out that if you add it in the root um, it doesn't check throughout the entire or all the nested modules which I think is weird um, although I may have done something wrong, but that's perfectly fine. And then we also need to a way of testing this, and I'm just gonna make a index.html really quick. Uh, let's open this up in Finder. There you are. And open this up and right now there's nothing in here so I'm just gonna do that and then before we could test we're gonna need a CDN so we're going to socket IO um, and hopefully their CDN is right here okay cool and I'm just gonna grab this one and add it here. So let's use emits and in the body tag here. Okay. Um, was it source? I believe it's source. And underneath, we're going to have a script tag. Uh, where we're just gonna add our own logic. So here we're just gonna do const socket equals to IO, which is the name of socket IO variable declaration inside this file. And we're gonna paste in our uh, gateway port, which is 4001. So that's gonna be localhost colon 4001 and do, 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 I think yeah that's about it oh I'm just gonna add HTTP to add the protocol okay now um, socket IO gives you a 
uh, was it on connection? Uh, not emit on connection, and we're just gonna do um actually data. So to to create the connection message in your app gateway, you're gonna have to use polymorphism. So we're gonna implement an interface that NestJS gives us. And I believe it's called on gateway connection. And I'm also gonna add in the disconnect. Actually, I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, <clears throat> so on gateway connection makes it so that you have to implement a handle connection function which takes in the client which is basically a copy of the WebSocket server and we're going to do client dot emits uh, the message is connection well the, the WebSocket message is connection and the actual message is going to be successfully connected to server so if we run this we will have a connection message so that the application <coughs> or yeah the application is aware of the WebSocket connection uh, both the client and the server side. Uh, I don't need this anymore or this. So we refresh this. I don't have a live server, so. But <clears throat> there's our message. I wonder if I can zoom in. Yeah. So we successfully connected the server. And then um, you can also do a disconnect. But something I want to add in is a the logger. So private logger equals to new logger with the context of um, app gateway uh, this is so that in our nest logs we we can see that the there's a connection created so we do this logger the log um, new client connected is that what I said? Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, so down in the terminal, uh, whenever there's a new connection, you can see that there's a client that connected right here. And then, now this isn't very useful yet because we're not emitting any events from the server. So that's why we added the the gateway to our idea module because the idea oh <laughs> the idea of what we wanted was that a new websocket message is emitted every time we create a new idea. So thinking of a uh, something like a news feed that's auto refreshing. So in the idea service on under the create we're just gonna do um, this dot oh wait. First we need to inject it into our dependencies up here. So we're just gonna add in private um, I think I called it gateway. And this is app gateway and that's gonna import it here. And where did the create go? And then in the create, before you return out of the function, you just have to do this dot gateway dot websocket server, which if you remember is this property right here. And we're just gonna do emits. And first we need a message for the client to um, listen on. And we're just gonna call it new idea. And then the data that we're going to emit is the idea that we just created. 
Yeah, so in our index HTML, we just need another socket to listen on that um, event. And I'm going to call it new idea. And for now, we're just going to console log it. So before that happens, I need to make sure that I am. Oops. We're going to make a new idea. And if I remember correctly, this is the data structure that we want. So new idea, some description goes here. OK. Uh, I'm going to refresh this so that it has the new code. And when I press send, uh, assuming that I saved everything, and also that these messages are the exact same. Okay, cool. So when I press send, it should update the client um, with the new idea. Now, I'm just going to make it a little bit more visually appealing by adding it to the actual body. So I'm just going to make a unordered list here with the ID. All right, uh, ID equals app. And in this callback function, we're, I'm going to just change it to do a little more than just console log. So I haven't touched vanilla J JavaScript in a while, so Let's see, it's document get elements by ID app and then in here I need the inner HTML and we're just gonna plus equals to append to the underordered list. Oops. And in here it's just gonna be an li And I think I'm going to put in a div. And, <clears throat> okay. So I'm just going to make an h2 for the idea name. So we're going to use string interpolation here. Um, Data.idea. h2. Um, paragraph tag for data dot description. So nothing too fancy. We're just gonna add in another list item with an H two and a paragraph tag. Um, every time the a new idea is posted. So I'm just gonna refresh this so that it has the new JavaScript code. And we're just gonna make another idea. So if we press send here, the server creates the idea, and then the WebSocket will send the data under the message of new, new idea. And on the client side, a new idea is posted. And then I'm not refreshing it, but if I make an, another idea, another idea, it will also do the same uh, data flow. And here we have the, the second one, another idea. So that's basically the, the whole idea of the whole gist of gateways inside of Nest.js. All you have to do is create the WebSocket server. Um, and then in your service, wherever you want to emit the idea or emit the, the data, you just access the, the gateway by dependency injection. Then the WebSocket server itself, you could add emit. To, to emit the idea.
and uh, I think I'm also gonna implement the disconnect. So what's this called? On gateway disconnect, we have we have to implement handle disconnect, which takes in the client. Well, we don't actually need the client here because the disconnect happens after the client is gone so the client's not going to be able to emit a new event but our logger could tell us that the clients and disconnected and all I have to do to trigger that log is to just close the HTML file. So pay attention to the terminal down here. We have a new client connected because the, the HTML is still running. But if I just close it, we have client disconnected. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. I <coughs> web sockets are not super difficult, but I know that it can be confusing because a lot of, there's a lot of moving pieces. So, yeah, see you guys next time.